Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Jason. I'm hanging out with Trent behind the camera. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, today's episode is all about best tech. So let's hang out and talk knives right here on the Diamond Knife Company. So we've got six Best Tech knives and two Best Tech Men knives that we're going to be taking a look at today. These are all going to be available uh, at our store. This is the all these models are going to be the first models that we're offering from Best Tech, which is really exciting for us. Um, so I'm just going to start over here on the right and just run through these and let you guys know. Uh, what we're going to be offering. Now I will link each of these uh, knives, their models and their numbers and the pricing below as I'm showing you them. And then also down in the description box, we will link each of these knives um, so that for those of you that are not local to us in the Corpus Christi area and can't get over to our store here in Portland, Texas, um, you'll be able to see um, the knives their availability online, the pricing, and then also if you want to get more details. So let's go ahead and, and start here. I'm going to start at the end here. And this one right here is the Lizard. Um, and it's a, it's about a medium size, about a medium size knife. Um, this one does have the Jade uh, G10 scales. You can see that it does have the black washed, stone washed uh, coating on the blade, which has got a really crazy uh, blade shape on it. Um, but but cool, super cool. It's got the the hole in the blade as well that you could use uh, to to uh, open the blade if you didn't want to use the the flipper tab. Um, it is um, it's got a deep carry pocket clip on it. You can see that there on the back, and it's not reversible, so it's only going to be right hand carry tip up. Um, but does give you a, a decent pocket clip there. Um, it is a liner lock in construction and uh, just a, a, a really, it's a medium sized knife, but uh, in the hand with that forward choil there, it does feel really good in the hand and you can choke up on it and, and you can see there that it leaves plenty of handle for you to grab. Um, so very, very unique design on this knife and uh, even has the uh, back spacer there with the JG10. Now all of these knives that we will be looking at are all going to be D2 uh, blade material. And uh, you can see that the uh, flipping action on this is really, really nice. And the, um, the hole there, if you want to do the reverse flick, if you can get your finger in there, well, it's, a little, it's a little difficult there. The detent on this one is really, really tight. So I don't know. Oh, you can get it, but it's, um, it's pretty tight. Maybe once it breaks in a little bit, um, it might be easier. So the next one that we're going to look at is going to be the Barracuda. It's going to be this one right here. Um, it's got the G10 beige, uh, G10 scales, um, and it's got a nice design there uh, with that milling in, in the uh, G10. And uh, the lines there kind of gives it like a bolster look uh, up closer to the, the blade. Nice blade shape on there. Kind of reminds me of like a sax design. Um, stone wash on the flat where it's been grind and then a satin finish on the rest of the blade. Um, this one again is um, only going to be right hand carry tip up and it does again have a deep carry pocket clip. Now the only thing with this one is that the, it's not a deal breaker for me but you can see that the screws are not flush mounted into the pocket clip. Still have a decent amount of room there but uh, they, they do sit above the, uh, the scale there. You, gotta have, you do have a lanyard hole. They give you a decent sized lanyard hole there. Um, and then again with the matching G10 backspacer. Just overall the design on this knife. Um, the only thing that I would say that I, I think could improve this knife and this model would be that the screws for the pocket clip, if they were flush, and then I do like a hole in the blade as another option to be able to deploy the blade. But with the milling on that flipper there, I think that's super rad. And just all the lines on this knife are just really, really awesome. So 
As far as all the knives on the table, this is going to probably be my, my favorite of the whole uh, line of knives that we have here. Now this next one that we're going to look at, oh, and I should show you that the uh, action on this knife is amazing. The flipper tab works really, really good. It's got decent blade stock. It's just buttery smooth, but I mean, you know that if you have a flipper and you can just flip it like that with the blade down, it's, it's just got the right amount of detent on the blade and it's just super smooth. So great action on this one. Now the next one that we'll look at, this one is gonna be the rock face. Um, and these are all liner locks as well, if I hadn't mentioned that, all of these. And same action there. A little bit heavier um, on the blade material on this one, but still has good action. G10, uh, you can see the OD Green G10 handle scales there. Um, same thing with the, um, the same thing with the pocket clip on this one as well. It's only going to be on the uh, right hand side. It's going to be tip up carry, um, and I'll give you a shot. Give you a shot of that. But it's um, it's really nice design. Overall, the handle is very comfortable. Um, I like the blade shape on this one, uh, that fuller on the top, and then just how that goes like into a modified sheep's foot almost with that Warren Cliff type uh, style of blade on the grind. Um, just really good. It's got um, some jumping up there on the top of the blade, and um, it's got a almost a full backspacer there. You can see that with that different color kind of gives you some contrast there having a different color backspacer um, no lanyard hole on this one but there is a hole in the pocket clip if you wanted to run some paracord through there you could probably do that um, but overall just a very uh, solid feeling knife um, the handles do have some thickness to them so they do fill fill up your the palm of your hand so it's very very nice and uh, just overall just a solid filling knife and again, um, good flipping action on this one as well. Now when I was looking up uh, what was in the pivots for these, um, I did look up the Barracuda and Best Tech did not have that information on their website. I actually found, found it on Knife Center and they had it listed that they are ceramic ball bearings uh, in the pivot. So if you guys jump over there and use those links, you'll be able to see uh, all the get all the fine details on each of these models. Now this next one is gonna be called the Operator. And again, bigger blade, um, very stout filling knife, very solid. This one's gonna have the black G10. Um, really radical design on the blade, again with that Warren Cliff style of, of blade shape. Nice hole in the blade there. If you didn't wanna use the flipper tab, you could use that hole in the blade. Um, does have pocket clip, deep carry pocket clip, but again, just right hand carry tip up only. Um, and then again with the screws, they are sitting on top of the pocket clip. They're not flush mount. Um, it's got a nice um, red backspacer there, so that's going to give you some, some good contrast between those dark scales. But again, another really solid feeling knife. Uh, I think the, urban, the ergonomics of this hand just makes sense as far as if you really want to use that straight blade. You can get up here, do a, a pinch on the blade and really get up all the way to the tip of the knife. So I think this knife is going to be really good for some uh, detailed uh, cutting. So that one is the operator. And this next one that we're going to be looking at is going to be the Arctic. And this one has got the uh, dark stone wash coating on the blade as well. And uh, G10 scales, these are the gray G10 scales. Um, and you can see that the, the, the design of the knife has the holes that go through the liners, through the scales. Um, this one does offer the uh, lanyard hole, but it's the same carry. Tip up, right hand only. But uh, again, very when you get this in the hand, it just feels really, really nice. Um, the, the scales are rounded and they're thicker, so it does give you um, a good full hand. You, you feel like you've got a nice grip on, on the, the knife. And then also this forward, it's choil. It's not very big, but you can use that to choke up on the knife. And then you do have this upswept 
uh, spot right here with some jimping on the top of the knife that you can use. So that's nice. Um, so another just solid filling knife and uh, the, the flipping action on it's really good as well. And that one is the Arctic. Now this next one we're gonna look at is gonna be the Muskie. And um, out of all of the knives, this is gonna be the first one as far as what we've looked at that you can see there on the front scale, this is gonna actually give you an option to move that knife, I mean the pocket clip to the front side. So you could carry it left hand and it will only be a tip up carry though, either left or right. Um, again, nice feeling uh, G10 with the beige G10 scales. Um, and then I like that two-tone look on the actual blade. You've got the, the black coating on the top there and then on all the flats where the grind is, it's got like a satin finish. Um, you do get the uh, backspacer, the matching backspacer there in the G10, which looks nice. And then uh, there's your deep carry pocket clip. And uh, it does, um, you can see that it does have on the front front of the knife, it does have the little plate with the screws. So once you move the pot clip around, then you would just utilize that on the other side of the knife. So all of these knives, very, very comfortable in the hand and they're all, the action on them is very, very good. Now the next one, they're actually the next two that we're gonna look at, these are by uh, Best Tech Men and these are gonna be the Dundee, this is the, uh, the full-size Dundee. Um, the action on this knife is just great. It's just so smooth and real, real snappy. Um, white G10 scales, uh, kind of the same design uh, as far as the blade is concerned um, with the black coating and then the, stainless, um, the satin on the flats. So it gives a nice contrast there. Um, you can, th these are gonna be uh, reversible on the pocket clip, so it's left or right hand carry, tip up only. Um, and then you do, um, you can see there that it, it is a uh, through construction and it's got that barrel standoff in there. And uh, it also has some jimping up there on the top of the blade. So just a really good looking knife, I like the fuller in the top of the blade like the handle profile, it's very, very, how would I, just like, um, I think this would fit in anybody's hand. It's just, I think whether small, medium, or large hand, it's just gonna be a really nice handle for everybody. It's plenty, I've got a decent sized hand. You can see there's still plenty sticking out. Um, but if you didn't wanna carry one uh, this large, um, then they do offer the mini, which is, it's a down, downgrade, but it's not huge. Um, so I can give you a shot super snappy on this one as well. You can see this one is in the blue and then with a full uh, dark stone wash blade finish on this one. Um, blade design is the same as far as the shape and that fuller in there, jimping on the top. Um, and then you can see the same thing here on the back of the knife that the pocket clip can be removed, uh, moved to the other side as well. So this one is left or right carry. But let me give you a shot of this other one and uh, that way you can see the difference in the size of knives. So if I hold that right there, you can see that the whole knife um, is, it, you know, the length on the mini is uh, about an inch, inch and a half shorter. Now as far as handle, um, you can see that it's a little bit shorter on the handle. If I pull this back, maybe about half an inch or so. So it's enough to make a difference uh, as far as the overall size, but I think as far as carrying this, I can still get a whole hand, my whole hand on there. Uh, it's still very comfortable. But very, very nice design. Um, very, very snappy. Just super snappy and super smooth. So yeah, that one is the uh, Mini Dundee. And these are all the knives that uh, from Best Tech and Best Tech Men that we are gonna be offering at our store. Uh, if you're watching this now, these uh, knives will be available for purchase at our store. If you're local in the Corpus Christi area and you wanna get over to Portland, you can Google us. We are in Maps. You can get the directions. You can get the store uh, hours and uh, come over there. 
get your hands on these knives, Physi physically check them out, make sure they're right for you. Um, if you're not local to us, uh, like I said, we'll leave those links in, down in the description box. You can use those links. We're not sponsored by anybody. We don't get anything from you guys using those. We put those there so that anybody can use them and get the information that they need to make sure that a purchase of a knife is gonna be right for them. So definitely use those links. Um, if you've hung out to the end of the video, we really appreciate each and every one of you um, making it to the end of the video. And for all of our previous viewers and all of our subscribers, we really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your continued support. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode, guys. Um, so until the next one, you know the deal. Make sure to keep those tips up.